What's going on guys and welcome back to the most spectacular walkthrough, read through of all time. It's your boy Terabyte Reactor. I really don't feel like doing my intro today. Yeah, I already messed it up. So let's try this again. What's going on guys and welcome back to the most spectacular read through of all times. I am the big cliche. I am big Papa Pump without the pump. I am the rock that is never hard. King Kong got a lot on me. I am T. Listen guys, <clears throat> I'm just not supposed to do this today. <laughs> I mean, I am <clears throat> almost through it. And I decided... <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> it's not gonna happen today. I'm, so I'm sorry. Oh, Welcome shit. back, guys. Here we go again. Um, sorry for messing up my intro, man. It's not gonna happen. I'm not doing it again. Not going through it again. But anyways... Thank you guys so much for tuning in once again to another read through of Ippo Hajime no Ippo manga. Today we're going to be starting off with um, chapter 571 as we are coming off of the tailwinds of the great Itagaki destroying that guy in the ring. Okay? Destroying that guy in the ring after he decided to dis. The one and only Ippo Itagaki Senpai, okay? So, we're going to jump into this, man. Um, that was pretty much um, what took place in the last <clears throat> 10... I think it was 10 chapters I did. Um, last time. Um, so, I don't know how many I'm going to get through today. Today might be a bit of a short one. Depending on how it's going. I know they're going to do a lot before leading up to the next fight. Of course... I don't know if they're going to show the other fight that takes place in this tournament, in the Rookie King tournament. I don't know if they're going to um, cover it because it doesn't include anybody from the, the main gym, Kamigawa gym. So, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to feature that, but we're just going to jump in and enjoy this and see where it takes us, man. And where if I decide to stop at a good place where I think, you know what I'm saying, we got enough chapters in, we'll do that. But... Let's see how this goes, okay? So I will see you guys. Remember to like the video, man. Subscribe if you're new, okay? If you want to see Ippo early and you can't wait, um, they do, um, over on the Patreon, they do get early access three days early to see this read-through. So if you guys see feel like you enjoy this and you want to be a part of that club, that early access club, just go over to the Patreon and sign up. It's only $5 for, for early access, which is something that I'm, I'm considering to, to, um, to drop everything to $5, to be honest, um, and keep certain things at the $10 tier, but that's for me to decide. Anyways, um, let's jump into this and let's get to reading because I want this to be out at least on the Patreon by tomorrow. So let's do this, man. I'll see you guys over there. Okay, so welcome, guys. So let me get some water. Lubricate. <laughs> Lubricate. <laughs> let me lubricate the throat a little bit. Always got to have the water or some, something to drink on hand because <clears throat> of all this. That's probably why I choked up the intro. <laughs> Anyways, um, so let's do this, man. Let's jump into this. So, I have here the ending of the fight, Itagaki. Good job out there, Itagaki. You're going to be the Rookie King this year. Thank you, thank you. Keep the wins coming. We'll, keep, we'll come see you fight again. Okay, so that's good. Words that can't be said yet. Round 571. So where... Where are you going, Ippo? All right, so he says, so Ippo says, to Manabu Kun's waiting room to congratulate him. Imai's match is coming up next, though. Okay, so they do want to see Imai's match, so Ippo is not going to be there to see it. 
um which is you know this kind is itagaki's walking out seeing imai i bet imai is gonna drop that dude real quick so seems you had a pretty flashy match that's what imai is saying to itagaki like mm, try not to trip up out there itagaki replies it's like it was and he was so amazing and so strong too that i've started to look more like a pro if he would just come over and say that to me i'll tell him that as much as he wants so so ippo is here remembering what itagaki what he overheard itagaki say to to mashaba um in the read through last time i don't remember what chapters was don't ask <laughs> anyway so i'll tell him that as much as he wants to hear it but wait a second you're looking more like a pro now if i say it the wrong way he'll just sound really stuck up when i say it like his senpai is talking down to him how should i say it i say oh coach so he sees coach sees the coach and he's shouting out to him he's like what and coach replies what you want to tell him he looks like a pro <laughs> it's like how did he know that that sounds like something that a senpai would say. Well, there's a long story behind it, you see. Anyway, so you make sure he tries his hardest next time. Don't do it. Huh? He's like, this is an order. You are expressly forbidden to ever say those words. What? Which words? Is it the... the the, um, you look more like a pro, or is it the, um, I don't know which one is that. So it's like, okay, but <clears throat> he worked so hard because he wanted to hear me tell him that. And Manabuka did such a good job today, he worked really hard. But at this point, <clears throat> okay, yes. That is very true too. I understand where where co where the coach is coming from because he's like, if you tell him that now, he's probably gonna get complacent, which is very true. The reason why he fought so hard is because, or why he tried so good is because he wants that approval. So in certain ways, it will keep him to strive. But also, people do need words of affirmation from people they look up to. You know what I'm saying? Um. I don't know how to say this because it kind of it kind of rolls both ways, you know. Kind of rolls both ways, you know. So, but at this point, you can't give him that satisfaction yet. So that's what coach is saying to Ippo. So Ippo is saying, but so coach touches him on the shoulder and says, "If you truly wish for his continued growth, then as a senior, you cannot tell him that." There's still time. So he sends him upstairs. So he's like, go back upstairs, watch the last match. And Ippo runs off and says, yes, sir. So it's in my match. Oh, Ippo kun. Mari san. How is the match going? So this is the reporter girl. I could never remember her name. Is it is it Mari? Mam Ma Mari san. Is her name is Mamari san or Mari san? I don't, I don't know, but anyways, his opponent Terai seems to be in good shape. It's like a replay of Itagaki Kun's match, like a replay. So Imai is out here, um, trying, but he seems to not be able to hit the guy. Okay, so ooh, what a devastating swing, but he keeps on missing. He hasn't even hit him once. He hasn't even hit him once. He's got extremely good footwork. Imai Kun doesn't seem able to catch up with him. So it is seem his footwork's up there with Manabu Kun's. These sure are some scary punches. <laughs> There's a guy in the ring talking like that. But all his swings are too wide. For a former amateur elite, this guy's throwing sloppy punches. Sorry, but I won't let you hit me. All right, then. Now it's my turn. Hmm. So what was he doing? Testing him out? I don't understand. 
Okay, so Imai throws another punch. Seems like both of them was about to throw a punch. It's like, it's my turn to attack now. Damn it. Quit cutting ahead. Uh, quit cutting ahead. Damn, he went for a punch. It looked like it might punish him. He's like, he seems overcome with fear, says Ippo. He's caught. Bro, what did Imai do to this guy? I think he was baiting him the whole time. Yo, this dude hit the dude so hard. Yo, bro, Imai is not a joke, man. I think he baited him into doing something stupid. He's like, what's with these punches? They're unbelievable. So he's like, uh. Yo, he felt that body blow for sure. He's like, he really drilled into his gut with that. He stopped his movement with a single punch. Bruh, he went in and got him again? He hit him in the same spot again, bro. Imai is punishing this dude. Bro, what is that punch? It looked like he's stepping in like, you know what I'm saying? Like a freaking Hadouken. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whoa, it's over already? He's passed out. What the hell's up with all this year's rookies? This guy and Itagaki are both in the finals. This will be interesting. I told you Imai was going to take him out. It looked like he baited him into doing something stupid. It's like incredible. He KO'd him like it was no big deal. Yeah. No matter how many times he misses, one hit, one hit is all that he needs with his style of fighting. And Michael seems to be pretty confident. It's like that was amazing. He's getting praised by some of the elites right now. So Itagaki's going to fight with this man in the finals, huh? All right. Subtlety and brute force. Technique and power. Reminds me of that match, which unfortunately never materialized. Miyata versus Ippo. Okay. So it reminds him of that. It's like power versus technique. Yeah. It's like, oops. <laughs> Like, I care who wins. Yeah, you do care, Mashiba. <laughs> My <laughs> I get this feeling like it's not really clear that the guy on our side won. It might definitely rain on his parade some. I can see why I was able to beat Itagaki twice when they were still amateurs. It's a shame Imai was around in the same generation he was. No matter how talented you are, you can't use something like that as an excuse for losing. After all, there's only ever one king. And then there's the tons of unfortunate guy, guys who end up being buried in his shadow. Very true. This is true. And the most unfortunate era to be in is now. Huh? It's like... And... Seems like, I don't know, why is he saying it's his fault? Damn. So, so long, <clears throat> so long as I'm around, no matter how strong you are, you could only ever be number two. Second place, I feel bad for them, but they'll never make it to the very top. All of the world's boxers were pretty unfortunate to be born into the same era that I came to exist in. <laughs> oh, so that's why he's saying it's his fault. Oh my God, he's so full of himself. He's like, ah, oh, there he is. It's the real thing. Please, autographs. Everybody's asking him for autographs now. <laughs> oh my God, everybody's asking him for autographs, right? Uh, programs for us. They want him to autograph the programs. So he's like, well, all right, kids, just form a line. Hey, don't doodle all over it. What? Be grateful to the world champ of two weight classes. Brocco man. <laughs> you punks. Those shirts. It can't be. 
Oh my god, he's so jealous. <laughs> he's so jealous of um of Aoki. <laughs> the Brocco Man commercials. <laughs> You're the one that cut his hair like that and now he's famous for it. You punks, those shirts, it can't be. <laughs> Dempsey roll under siege. Oh god, not this guy. Aoki. So Aoki walks up and pushes him out the way. What? Wow, look, it's Brocco Man. Brocco Man, it can't be helped. Single file line, please. You said it yourself, the most unfortunate era to be born in is now. <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> He's like, okay, so Ippo finally meets up with Itagaki outside. He like, so he calls out to his senpai. He's like, Manabu-kun, congratulations on your match. Manabu says, thank you. Your strategy for the flicker worked perfectly, and that counter at the very end was really great. And he says, no, not really. And Ippo was about to say, you're looking more like a... And he stops himself from saying it. He like, you look like a pro now? Oh no, I can't say that. So Itagaki is questioning himself. So he's like, Kiyosuke won by KO in the first round, didn't he? He's talking about Imai. Um, and he's like, he took me two rounds for my win. Uh, so Ippo says to him, but it's not fair to compare KO times since those usually depend on how you and your opponent match up. Yeah. I mean, he's right. He's right because you, 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 you know, it's all about the matchup. Because if you were to say, okay, um, you can't say somebody's better than you because they've knocked out somebody in the first round before. You know what I'm saying? You can't necessarily judge it based on that because, you know, some of the best boxers in the world don't have a lot. You know, they have, you know, they probably have you know, had 50 matches and they only have like 20 KOs. Like, does that mean that they're not as good as the person that gets 49 out of 50 KOs, like out of 50 matches, like 49 KOs out of 50 matches? Like, no, that's not a good way to judge. So when it comes on to, to Takamura and, you know what I'm saying? Like, does it make him a bad boxer because he takes such beating sometimes in some of the big matches? No. Let's make him a bad boxer. He's a great boxer. So, can't judge it by that Itagaki. You can't do that. So, so he's like, yeah, I guess so. But no matter how I look at it, that guy is always, he's always just one step ahead of me. I bet that Miyata-san feels the same way too, huh? Feels like he's always just one step behind you. Miyata-kun feels that way. There's no way. No, I think I understand how he feels. <laughs> this may sound a little conceited, but I think that Miyata-san and I are the same. We both have the same kind of frailty inside the ring, but he doesn't break, and he's grown stronger because of it. It's because he felt you were always ahead of him, I'm sure, and he could never be satisfied with that. So he worked harder and harder. You are a um, a solid factor of why Miata pushes himself so much. That's very true. So, he's like, I'm also definitely not satisfied yet. No, I can't be satisfied yet. I want more. I need to become even stronger. Isn't that right, Senpai? Ippo responds, yes. And... So at this point, you can't give him that satisfaction yet. He's remembering what coach says to him, and he said, I understand now. Okay, so come to think of it, I wonder how many times the coach has actually praised me. He's told me that I've done a good job plenty of times, but I've never once heard him say that I look like a pro. Thinking about it more, he's always yelling at me. I bet he still doesn't acknowledge me at all. <laughs> it's exactly what he's trying to say to you is like, you can't 
a lot of times you can't make people feel like they've accomplished it all. You get what I'm saying? You always got to keep telling them, but you still have a long way to go. There's a, there's ways that you can say it to them to not make them feel satisfied with where they're at. Like if you tell him that you look, that he looks more like a pro, it's kind of like in boxing is like, that's the pinnacle. That's, you know, but I don't think for a person like Ippo, I really don't feel like it would affect him that much to the point where he would stop working so hard. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So I think he could tell him, but at the same time, I understand why he doesn't. So Itagaki notices that he's thinking, and he's like, something wrong, senpai? And of course, Ippo responds, nothing. Boy, for him to ever say that to me, I'd have to work really hard. Precisely what he's saying is uh, precisely he's like, if you want to get that out of me, like you have to really, really, really be doing well. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll get the coach to say that to me someday. That's Ippo's new goal. Okay, that's that's good. So I'm gonna have to re I don't know why why do I have this? Um bring that back. I don't know why. It's there. I don't know when this thing because it wasn't there before, so I don't know. Did it get bigger? I think it got bigger. <laughs> okay, so I'll bring it back if anything. So from the Yokohama Arena all the way to the Rookie Kings, I've only been able to watch everyone as they continue to try their very best. I'll try my very best too, I want to say that. But from now on, you must not rely on the Dempsey roll. Rest your body and and what? I can't read this stuff because it's so small around my screen. Let me you yeah for the next build what? It's so weird. I don't know what he's saying there but build something. I know he did tell him not you know I'll try my very best to. I want to say that, but from now on, you must not rely on the Dempsey roll. Rest your body and rebuild it. Okay, so so rest your body and rebuild it for the next match. That's what he said. So I got lectured pretty harshly. After all, I need to work on the basics and build my stamina back up for now. Okay. If I keep on using the, the new Dempsey role as I am now, it will just be troublesome for Yamaguchi Sensei. I need to build up my endurance and also strengthen my lower body, which is very true because last time he used it, the modified Dempsey role where he, he's stopping mid, where he's stopping midway almost destroyed him. You know what I'm saying? So. He was so strong. If things stay like this, I'll never reach him. So they, they're both kind of watching each other, Miata and Ippo. You know what I'm saying? Miata is kind of like Ippo's goal. And at the same time, like, that's the faded match that I that we all want to see is Ippo versus Miata in a real match. You know what I'm saying? Like a real all out at the top of their game for a championship. That's what I want to see. So... Okay, let's do this. So, the dog here. Okay, so him and the dog is running. It's like, it's okay. I'm not going to quit. If I just keep on working hard, I'll be fine. Let's go nonstop all the way home. Woof, woof. Okay. For my next match, huh? I wonder when my next match will be, and I wonder who I'll be fighting against. Like, we don't know, hippo. So, what the... I wonder what all the fuss is. There's a lot of noise going on in the gym. Good afternoon. What's going on? Oh, Ippo, let's go kill time outside. What? You'll get mixed up in the fighting if you go into the gym. It's like, huh? Who's fighting in the gym? Okay. These guys are back. And they both cut their hair like Aoki now. Oh, my God. There's three Brocco men. 
He's been arguing with the two class world champ over who's more popular. And I was wondering what kind of fight. <laughs> and Ippo was it's like, and I was wondering what kind of fight it was. <laughs> it's a pity. Even after taking two classes, your hairstyle still isn't popular. But it looks like mine's starting to pop up more and more. <laughs> He's like, that's just Team Aoki. They don't fucking count. <laughs> we can judge by who gives more autographs too. Well... I'm sure that you realize it yourself already. It's like, so Takamura is like, quit your goddamn babbling. But I'm thankful to you, Tak. But I'm, <laughs> it's like, but I'm thankful to you, Takamura. If not for you, then I wouldn't be the man I am today. I'm so sorry someone like me could be even more popular than a two class world champion. Oh my god. <laughs> He's like, so Ippo is like, he's really getting carried away. It's so stupid, I don't even feel like stopping it. <laughs> you were born into an, an, an unfortunate era. Eh? It can be helped. You're nothing but a fad. When the boom starts to die down, I'll remember this. <laughs> Takamura-san lost, didn't he? But being the champ of two classes should be a lot better. Oh, okay, so coach is talking to him. So, uh, Hippocon, okay, yes. Come to the coach's office for a minute. He wants to have a word with you. We're waiting on a response from the champion, but are you sure about this, Makanouchi? Are you sure about this? Makanouchi is really strong. Who is he uh, going to fight? Who is this guy? You will see it when I fight him. I'll win against Makanouchi. Who is this guy? He may not have lost the match, but everyone saw how to beat the Dempsey Roll. A move you can overcome isn't something you can call a finishing move. I've got a plan. All that's left is to take the belt. He's ranked 7th out of the Japanese featherweights. Karasawa Takuzo... <laughs> okay, Takuzo, okay, so, and the match would be only a month, a month? Bro, so, how, he's like, how about, how about it? Can you do it? A match? So, Ippo is surprised, like, a match for me? Despite his lower ranking, you can't take him lightly. He's made it known that he has a countermeasure for the Dempsey role. He's last year's rookie king. And a fighter with a lot of momentum. So Ippo is like, please let me fight. I really want to fight him. But you'd be building yourself back up from nothing. Are you sure you don't want to refuse? And Ippo is like, no. It's because I need to start all over. There's something that I want to try. Okay. Okay, Ippo. That's what I'm talking about. Get real. Get real. Okay. 573, let's get it. There's something that I want to try. Hmm. So they're like, you don't have to give an answer right away. Please take your time and think about it before you give a reply. After the Sour Moor match, most of the high rankers withdrew their challenges. For him to put his name out there at a time like this probably means he's got a lot of confidence. So it's fine if you'd like to put off your next match until you've had more time to prepare. It's okay to postpone a match for a while. So it's like, I see, so what you're trying to tell me is you're ready for this? He's like, my body isn't quite there yet, but my feelings are ready. Yes. Hmm, he's calling us already, so coach answers the phone. The dude is asking, you sure about this coach? It's like Kamagawa here about the match in question. What match? A match for me? Why is Takamura calling the gym? <laughs> Why is he calling the gym? What the? Is this Takamura? Your next match hasn't even been decided yet. He's like, that's fine by me. I'm going away on a trip for a little while. A trip? He's like, what are they talking about? Where do you think you're going? When the hell are you coming back? Oh, nowhere in particular. 
I'll be back once the booms passed. <laughs> I know he's leaving because of Oki's so-called fame. So he's waiting on it to die down before he comes back. He's like, hey, wait a sec. <laughs> so he hangs up. He's like, what boom is he talking about? He's like, no clue. <laughs> Ippo is like, I know what it is. <laughs> he's like, it's fine. Now we can concentrate on the kids match. And he's like, yes, sir. It's decided then you're going to fight Karasawa. So we got our next match. Okay, come here again. Uh, come here again. Sure takes me back. Who is this guy? Well, if it isn't Sanada. Long time no see there, buddy. Hey, man. You've got some balls showing your face here. Sorry, I've been such a stranger, Code. So what brings you here, huh? Could it be you've come to give me some encouragement? It looks like the rumors were true. Yeah, I'm going to fight with Makanauchi. So who is this guy that came to visit? He looks familiar. For, he's like, forget encouragement. I came here out of concern. Makanauchi is strong, you know. And he's like, I know that. After all, I watched your match against him, Sanada. I know he fight, fought somebody that looks like that. I don't remember the glasses. The glasses are throwing me off. He's not the same as he was then. He's gotten considerably stronger. Everyone keeps telling me I'm going to get beat pretty badly. But you know what? I'm not. The same as I was back then either. How about it? You want to spar for old time's sake? Knock it off. I'm not as tough as I used to be. But I wanted to show you my countermeasure against the Dempsey roll. And he's like, oh? You sound confident. What are your odds? He's like, they're seven to three. They gave you seven? <laughs> no. I'm the three, actually. The risk may be great, but it's only natural since it's a title match. So even if there's just a 30% chance of winning, it's still worth taking the fight. He's like, yeah, it is. So what are they like? Makanauchi's punches have got to be really good, right? It's like, speaking from experience, I can tell you, that punch, <laughs> this man is shaking. He's like, that punch is normal. Even if it just grazes past you, it'll still feel like he's knocked your head clean off. He's like, oh, man. Guess I'll have to rely on my guts to take that belt from him. At any rate... I'll try to do my best. Please watch me as I train and give me some advice. And he's like, okay. So Sanada, I'm trying to remember when he fought Ippo. I, I'm saying the glasses is throwing me off, man. I'm going to have to look to see um, when Ippo fought Sanada. Because I don't remember the name. But I remember the, the face looks really familiar. So that Karasawa, he's gotten much stronger. Okay. Saying that he'd be taking the belt despite the 7-3 odds against him, he certainly seems to be brimming with confidence. But, Makanauchi's really strong now. And no one else seems to think that Karasawa can win this. And I'm afraid I share in that prediction as well. A KO win for Makanauchi kun But even so, in a way, I'm still excited. The pressure of being expected to win easily against a challenger who has nothing to lose. To tell you the truth, in a case such as this, the odds of the invincible champion losing are quite high. Whoa, what is he doing out here? What is he doing? Is he punching La? What in the world is Ippo doing? Is he out here punching logs into the? You know what? <laughs> It's like you're hitting a home run out of the park. That's what Itagaki says. Is this really training for boxing? It's like even more, even more so than boxing training. I think of it as part of getting my body back in shape. But you were already hitting the tires. It's like, well, oh, he's hitting it with something. I thought he was punching that damn log, bro. <laughs> so, so he's using a hammer to hit the log okay so well that was a downward striking motion i'm building a body for more powerful sideways twisting motion okay so 
twisting sideways, the Dempsey roll. Mm. Okay. Using the new Dempsey causes a great strain on his body. So he's building a body able to withstand that. Huh. He's put some thought into this. Even though countermeasures against his finishing move are the talk of the town, Senpai still doesn't want to give up on the Dempsey roll. Of course, why would you? Why would you want to give up on that move? That move is too beastly for you to give up on it. Gotta keep polishing it until it becomes perfect. So he says, but he's polishing it up even more. I wonder how this next challenger is planning to counter it. He's like, ow, oh, I'm starting to miss because I'm so tired. So he, I think he missed a bit. He didn't caught it good. So he, Itagaki says, you should take a break. At any rate, where did you get all these logs from? I bought them all from a lumber yard, says Ippo. By dipping into my prize money, your prize money? So you fought like a desperate maniac to buy logs? <laughs> You should have bought something more luxurious. But there's nothing more luxurious than this because now I can train even when I'm not at the gym. Beastly. <laughs> I think someone removed his brain and had it replaced with a boxing glove. <laughs> he didn't explain why he's so strong. It's kind of sad. <laughs> Kumi-san's such a nice girl, but I have to wonder... I have to wonder if he's ever gotten her a present... And she sneezes on the dude. She's at the hospital. He's like, she sneezes. And she's like, oh, excuse me. And the patient is asking the nurse, did you catch a cold? You best take your own temperature. So she takes her own temperature. All that happens is, you know, is this like a thing where when you sneeze, somebody's like talking about you. You know, if you believe in that sort of thing. So keep running. So we got coach training Ippo now as I keep running. There's not much time before the match. You don't have the time to be slacking off. Yes, sir. So we're going to take a break here and come back for the next part. You already know how it goes. Let's do this. All right. We are back. Let's continue. It's like hmm, a match where everyone says that he's going to win. This is going to be tough. That's the end of the chapter. Might as well have just tap that on on the last part that I just stopped. Okay, so 574, let's continue. Your pace is starting to drop. Don't slack off now, kid. It's like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's like, keep moving. Yes. Ha ha. So he's pushing the coach up the hill on the, the moped or whatever you call that thing. So, one, two, three, four, and the finish. Yes, sir. So, they're training. You're wide open. <laughs> Hit him in the face. Three more rounds. Come at me. Yes, sir. You only got a month to prepare for this match, bro. Like, he's like, man, just watching this makes me want to puke. Isn't Karasara only ranked seventh? No way Ippo is going to lose. But that's just it. Lots of champions have screwed up matches they were supposed to win easily, after all. He's not the type to underestimate people, but he still needs to build up his spirit. Well, it's definitely scary to think about such an ambush. I've suffered from the bite of an underdog on more than one occasion myself. That's, is that Aoki? Yeah, that's Aoki talking. So, you underestimate people too much. <laughs> this is like, like you have room to talk. Like Kimura is talking as if they 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 both haven't underestimated people before. So Ippo gets that he's like uh, he's breathing really hard coming out of the ring. Just drops his head in the window. <laughs> he's like, I'm kinda worried about him, says Aoki. He took a lot of damage against Saramura, and who knows if he's recovered from the strain of using the new Dempsey so much. On top of all that on top of all that, having a match all of a sudden you know, for this next title match, it looks like there's more things to worry about than usual. And he's still out here pounding those logs. Senpai, won't you take a break? 
Uh, yeah. If you sweat too much, you're going to get dehydrated. Have a vitamin shake. Thank you. But but you don't have to worry about me so much. The East, Jap East Japan Rookie King Finals are coming up soon, Manabu. But your match up first, Senpai. Don't worry, I came up with a very good plan already. You're the one who needs to be careful, Senpai. Kimura and the guys are worried about you and for good reason. They're really worried about your body. Until just recently, you were still using crutches. And you started such harsh training so suddenly too. But I really think I'm okay, says Ippo. In fact, I'd be worried more if I wasn't being so active. Well then, I'm off to do some running. I need to run if I plan on competing with Kiyosuke's stamina. Okay, so he really seems to be doing okay. He's got frightening resilience. Well, that's Ippo for you. Any ordinary boxer would have given up from exhaustion right about now, but Senpai has given his flesh and blood to his training. He was born with a body that reacts well to hard training. Very true. Smart boxers who rely on rhythm and their instincts are often called geniuses, but being rugged is also another type of natural talent. If he were my enemy, he would be the worst type to face. Makanouchi is in your weight class. As long as you stay in the same gym as him, you can't challenge him. He's remembering what Mashiba said to him. He's right, that's true, but I can't be worrying about that right now. The Rookie King Finals comes first. Ippo is out here training with his logs. It's like, what's with these greenhorn punches? You need to be faster. Come on, faster. It's like, we're finished here. <laughs> this flash <laughs> hit him in the face. It's like, thank you very much. It's like, geez, he got the life squeezed out of him. Think he can keep this up till the match? It's time for my vital. I don't think coach knows that he's doing that kind of training after he trains with him. So he's probably exhausted, probably not even getting enough sleep right now. So he's like, what the hell's that? I'm like, huh? Where's Senpai go? He's probably washing up out back. You should bring it to him. So he gets back there, says, Senpai. So he's, <laughs> oh, he sees the coach, like, washing his hands, like, you know, like, cooling off his hands. He's like, don't tell anybody about this. So he's like, the mitts get all bent out of shape even after just one of his sloppy shots, and I end up like this. Because he's like, you know what I'm saying? Because Ippo's punches are really powerful, so I can imagine, man, you know. So he's like, damn kid, his wrist stronger than he's transferring power well from his legs too. His fists feel frighteningly hard. What do you think, man? So it's like it must be from pounding in all those locks. Oh god damn it, Itagaki. Itagaki, man. Bruh. They don't know. It's like lately he's been driving these logs into this hillside. I bet somebody will get mad about it soon, but is like into the hillside? Is it possible he's been pounding those logs in with his fist? No, not with his fist. <laughs> That'd be really scary if he was using his fist. There's no one stupid enough to do that. Nah, he uses a hammer for it. You're right, using fists would be really stupid. But I wouldn't put it past Ippo to try. <laughs> That's the thing. He's like, oh. Who is this guy? This is the guy Sawa Mara, whatever his name is. Okay, so they're like stomping into his stomach. Okay, so um, Sanada, Sanada, Samara, Sanada. He's like, so he's not just worried about the Dempsey role. I see now. Kamasawa knows what he's doing. Okay, so next chapter. Next chapter, 575. Beyond the evolution of the Dempsey. Jeez, I can't even bear to watch this anymore. If he keeps on doing that, he's going to break his ribs. He's trying to be able to withstand those body shots. You know, maybe the gazelle punch. So, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. So, just one punch from... He's trying to get that, that liver shot. 
you know what I'm saying? Like that liver shot that Ippo has that he uses to set up his moves. You know what I mean? Like, he's like, just one punch from Makanouchi Kun could break two or three ribs. Well, even so, isn't this overdoing it a bit? He said, is its power really that is is its power really that devastating? The devastating power isn't just from the Dempsey roll. Every punch he throws is potentially a killing blow. I was leveled by just by just body blows. He said he has a plan for the Dempsey, but that alone won't be enough against Makanouchi. You tend to think of the Dempsey when you talk about Makanouchi, but his normal punches are just as effective. And every match that he's won has been by KO. So can you can see he's a monster just from his right just from his fight record alone. To fight against a champion like that, Karasar has got a lot of guts. Medically speaking, I can't condone this, but if you continue, it will be useful to you one day. One day? I'll put it to use in my next match. I plan on using my footwork for all 10 rounds. If I stop moving, he'll come with that troublesome Dempsey. He'll try to stop your movements with, with body blows. I'll bounce right back. I'll build a body that can endure any number of, of body blows. I won't stop, no matter what. Let's do this, Karasawa. Yeah. He won't stop even once in 10 rounds he won't he won't stop even once in 10 rounds many people have tried this before but um many people have tried this before but no one has ever met with success but what if what if you're able to pull it off it must be from pounding in all those logs so so com the coach goes down to where Ippo was pra was practicing, you know, training. And he's like, this is it, huh? How nostalgic. I used to do something like this, too. Yes, I remember that. As you, I, I was like, I remember that. The yay! I remember when they were showing his backstory. He was punching in logs, bro. That's why he was, wasn't he the one they called Iron Fist? Yeah, they used to call him Iron Fist, bro. Don't tell me he just tried to punch the log. <laughs> that was a reckless thing to do, but I was really young back then. So swinging a heavy hammer in one hand like this then, ankles, wrist, and hips, that and twisted, and that twisting motion trains those muscles pretty well when he was hitting the mitts the results of his training the results of his training were already showing huh. but he's not quite there yet i drove in logs like this using just my beer fist he's using a hammer but only managed to drive it in this far so he's like so he looked like he stepped on something he says ow and he's like what well, what the hell Yo, Ippo is a motherfucking beast. The dude has been out all this time. I thought he was barely driving them in, bro. Yo, look how many of these he's drove all the way in, my guy. So the coach notices that and he's like, see, I see now. That's how he got results so quickly. I'm not sure whether he's noticed it himself or not, but this training will build muscles that can endure twisting more. Before his match with Saramora, I was so terrified that I couldn't tell him. My idea for evolving the Dempsey role because I thought it would shorten his boxing career. But if he's able to keep this up, I might be able to tell him soon. And if he ever manages to put it into practice, then he'll have met, 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 met the, the qualifications. Met the qualifications needed to graduate from domestic 
Japanese fights. Ooh, to take him to the world. To take him to the world stage. Let's do this, man. So, okay. So, Brocco Man. Hey. He waved at me just now. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, the kids are fighting over Brocco Man. For real? I'm here now. You're late. Sorry, people were lined up outside of our shop. Brocco Man has been good for business, but now I'm busy all the time. Man, what a huge boom. You never know what'll make it big these days. Thanks to you, Takamura-san's gone missing. He still hasn't come back. He hasn't called the gym either. Nobody knows if he's far away or nearby. I wonder where he is right now. My punch is dynamite. Bum, bum, bum. He'll knock out anyone. <laughs> he's out here traveling. Like, he's like, it's been so long since I felt this free. Escaping from days of fighting. Just casually traveling alone to a destination unknown. <laughs> but maybe I should have planned things out a little. I really don't know where I'm going. It's like I've led myself down a road where no one can find me. Come to think of it, where the hell am I? <laughs> He's lost. So lost. <laughs> Takamura, man. Come on, bro. All right, next chapter, 570 things. Something I want to try. Takamori is out here in the wild. <laughs> so it's like, all right, stop. This is Coach and Ippo. It's like, break time. Yes, sir. So it's like, I had a talk with Yamaguchi-sensei yesterday. Yamaguchi-sensei? He says, she said that it's probably still too early to let you fight. Oh, he's talking about the doctor. So you may look all healed up, but there could be some hidden damage. You could cause your injuries to resurface and it'll look like it came out of nowhere it's like what do you think will your body be able to handle this is that hmm. so you were worried about my health then thank you very much thank you very much it's like just answer the damn question <laughs> what can my body handle right now i feel fine but um what what is it a long fight can become very intense, so I feel a little uneasy about it. I could re-aggravate my injuries in the match and then not be able to follow through with my hips at all. If that were to happen, it would be the worst. But I really think I'll be fine. I'll still be giving it my all no matter what happens. As you do every time. A long fight will make anyone nervous. But we've already accepted their challenge. Simply put, you can't afford to lose. He's like, I know that. That's why I am preparing myself. Hmm. But rather than me, shouldn't you be more worried about Takamura-san? He's still missing after all. No need to worry over him. Boxing's about the only thing he's ever been honest with. No matter where he is, I'm sure he's doing his training. Wow, what a trusting relationship. Oh, well, maybe definitely. I mean, he's... Probably traded. <laughs> anyway, it's good for us because now we can focus on you. Let's go, kid. Yes, sir. Like, even so, I wonder where Takamura went off to. Nao-san, we got trouble. Nao-san, what is it? Did something happen? Oh, man. Oh, man. Miyamoto truck fell into the ditch. That's horrible. We have to go help him. Huh? What? Yo. Is that talk of... Buddy, you really saved me by putting me back on it. This dude just lift up a truck. Wait a second, bro. Is this Takamura? Takamura just lift up the tail end of a truck and... He lift up the whole... You know what, man? It was... It, and he's like, it's nothing really. He's like, how can I ever repay you? Don't bother. I have to keep on running, so I'm off now. You really have an amazing body there. What line of work you in? Something where strength is required? Hmm. That's right. It requires strength. My line of work is being champion. He's like, oh man, Miyamoto, are you okay? He's like, what? Your truck? Your truck got pulled out after we went to the trouble of getting all these people? Oh, I'm fine now. Someone came to help me out. He said that he was a champion, so I thought he might be from a gym in Nao-san's area. And he pulled it out all by himself? Think he was a pro wrestler? 
a champion with a big hairdo, a champion, a champ with a big hairdo who can do something like this, one person does come to mind, but it can't be him. There's no way that he would be in how more. Okay, so we'll see. Um, looks like Ippo, they're watching tape of this guy. It's like that was a good fight. Good, that was a good right, and that time is was miraculous as well. It seems he's the type that prefers to fight from a distance. From start to finish, he uses his footwork to bolt around, staying away at a fixed distance. He knows how to use his space in the ring. And he'll probably try utilizing the reach difference and attack outside of Ippokun's range. If we were to look at the kid's fight record, he fights like he's just like Hayami-san and Saeki-san, isn't he? Ayami, Ayami, Ryuchi, and Saeki Takuma? Huh? Their footwork did give us some trouble. You want to break his rhythm fast. The kid's always been able to lure them out, but I don't think he'd fall into any of those same old traps. But even so, I can go for his body, right? If I unload on his body, the damage will pile up. It feels like I'm hitting a rock. Okay, so we're back to this guy again. Makanauchi's fist will feel like a feather against this. But I still wonder. I can't imagine what a punch from him will feel like. I bet it's like no other punch I've ever felt before. People has come in the ring against Ippo, you know, prepared, you know, for body shots until they actually feel the body shot. Remember, um, freaking, um... Sendo, remember Sendo? Sendo really actually worked on his lower body like crazy. You know, I mean, not only to get his smash um, really powerful, you know what I'm saying, but also, you know what I'm saying, just his, his lower body is as he really worked on it so he could take those punches in that title fight and he still lost. So I can probably only take on five, maybe six shots. When it all comes down to the wire, even my legs would probably give out, huh? He was like, hey, what's with all this sissy talk? Didn't you say your feet weren't going to ever stop moving? They won't. Not at the beginning or the middle. I'll use my footwork the whole entire time and keep racking up the points. But what if you slow down at the end and he manages to pin you against the ropes? He'd be sure to step in and try to finish it using the Dempsey. Wouldn't that be the time for me to show my courage? And he's like, Kurosawa, that's when I'll be waiting for him with a counter. Even if it won't knock him out, it will get me out of that tight spot. If I can survive, if I stay standing until the very end, it'll be my win. Okay, so we get his strategy now. So it's Sugumi-chan. Want to play a video game? You know, maybe some other time after your next match, Takuzo Sun. So he has a, a little sister, I guess. Kids aren't supposed to be reserved like that. But my dad says that. Okay, so he's like, you're our first shining star of hope in a long time, and that he's taken um, extra care to bring you as a chap, bring you up as a champ. One of the things that that um, this manga does very well is to show a good backstory about, you know opponents that we're not necessarily rooting for but you kind of feel for them and understand why they fight last match you know we saw you know the guy trying to prove himself to to um this kid from the hospital and stuff you know what i'm saying even though he's a cheater you know he was still trying to fight that fight without you know cheating so even though at the end I didn't like him, but <laughs> and I think okay, so go, let's get back to it. So the coach, I see, it took forever to convince him to let me take on this impossible title match. Despite all this prudent guidance, I'm still taking a big gamble. I'm afraid. Aren't you fighting with the guy that beats Sonata Sensei? He's really strong, isn't he? That's why it's a big gamble. It's all or nothing. If I win, 
things will really pick up around here and our futures will be brighter. The coach has been down ever since Sonata-san has retired. Although he tries to pretend otherwise, we can see through his act. The whole gym's energy is slowly fading. I didn't think there was anything I could do to change that. I really love this gym and I know the coach is expecting big things from me. That's why I decided to do this. But aren't you scared, Takaz Takazo-kun? If it really is a big gamble for you, then isn't your chance of winning really low? He taps her on the head. He's like, just like a kid. Our future will definitely be brighter. And she's like, do your best, Takazo-kun. I don't know if it's his sister or whatever. So he's like, that kid, why do you take this match? Um, because he needed to start all over again. He said there was something he wanted to try. The coach is like, yes, he did say that, didn't he? A long fight can become very intense. He accepted the match despite feeling uneasy. What could Merritt take in this fight? And log training is a double-edged sword. He may be building a more durable body, but he could just as well be reactivating all his old injuries. And dude reassured him, he's like, he'll rack up the body blows and finish it in the second half, right? In the later round. He's like, huh? Even in a match, he's sure to win. It's still an all or nothing situation. I don't know what he wants to try out, but it's in. But it's, but it's intriguing, isn't it? I want to see how it turns out. I want to see something that can blow away all of this old man's concerns. That's something. The basics. Basics. Jab, jab. So, if old training, doing some shadow boxing out here. Okay, next chapter, 577. Ah, oh, please do not drive any more logs into the hillside. <laughs> They left the sign there for Ippo. <laughs> it's like, please do not drive any more logs into the hillside. That place to prevent. It's a public place, so you were going to get warned sooner or later. <laughs> but it's too bad, since I'd yet to get the full effect. Actually, this is probably for the best. Even you would have gotten hurt if you'd kept this up, senpai. He's like, yeah. Well, it can't be helped, so let's run. Hey, wait for me, please. You sure are a training nut. I feel sorry for your opponent. I don't want to underestimate him. From the videos, it looks like Karasawa sounds faster than I'd imagine. If I lose points early on, it'll be too late for me. I'd get hasty since I need a KO to win and lose sight of my own rhythm. That's just like my plan for Kyosuke in the Rookie King final, says Itagaki. So he says, what Karasawa's ka Karasawa San plans on doing will probably be a good reference for me. Is that no wait? What if it doesn't work out for him? Will that mean I can't win against Kiyosuke? But if it works out somehow, then Senpai might lose his fight. That'd be bad, but if it doesn't work, it'd be bad too. Hmm. So Ippo turns around and is like, what's wrong? And nothing at all. Karasawa-san will run away from the most, for the most part, right? What's your strategy against that, senpai? It's like, I bet you'll just run him down and use the Dempsey, right? Yeah, I have no choice but to keep on moving forward. But this time, I want to bury all my regrets and start over from just the basics, okay? He's like, regrets? It's not like you've been losing, but... If I keep going as I have been, I don't think I can keep on winning. It's like, surely, I'm bound to run into someone that I won't be able to beat. I have relied on the Dempsey role too much. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He's growing up. He's maturing, man. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You got to use that in specific situations. You can't always be trying to use that all the damn time. Like, you got to keep your opponents guessing. Let them not know if it's coming or not. You know what I'm saying? If they're always thinking it's coming, they're going to keep preparing for it. So, great insight from him there. So, it's very strong, but still, I don't think the Dempsey is enough anymore. I used to think that I could do anything if I could just land one clean hit with it, but that last match against Sarah Morrison finally made me realize its limitations. The Dempsey counter? P 
people are studying it more and more and I feel like it's gonna become less and less useful I can't go around using it recklessly anymore so you're throwing away your finishing blow no that's not quite right it's more like the process before the Dempsey is just as important well I didn't explain it very well but it's like no I get it the basics then first you build up a lot of damage with your left and then you connect with the Dempsey roll it's like yeah ideally that's exactly right I see I have a little worry I, I'm a little worried though I've got fairly short reach for a featherweight so I could end up losing in an exchange of lefts or I might not be able to set the pace early on in the match that's why I train so much and keep on running and running to work off some of my worries and put myself at ease for a little bit it's like that gave me chills back to the basics that means that he'll be beating people with more precision than he ever has before senpai is trying to change himself again I wonder if it's just for this next match or maybe it's for that someone he's destined to fight again one day Miata haha <laughs> yes hey senpai wait for me please oh sorry if he keeps going at this pace I wonder if I could ever catch up to him damn it I can't let him get away I won't lose sight of you you're my goal I'll never lose sight of you huh Takamura-san tried to get a hold of us where did he say he was he said I'm sure all those jerks are real worried about me so go ahead and tell all of them that I'm doing just fine out here <laughs> oh god this is like he sounds like a kid who's run away from home did he tell you where he was well I think that's his um, Ippo's mom I think this is right so well I think that I think that he said he was on his way from Tohoku Tohoku to shit shit Shinetsu Shinetsu huh I wonder what he's after maybe the hot springs there you think he went to heal his battle worn body he's got no sense of direction so I can't imagine where he's gone the coach is just letting him be too so it's probably best if we all try not to worry either yeah I guess so at least he got in touch with us what's going on what happened while I was out my precious library is ruined must have been this must have been thieves but if that was the case then why are all of you so calm <laughs> why is all the dogs so calm because it's Takamura because they he wasn't their town this guy's town they keep saying right so hmm Hachi we'll chase them and we'll chase them anyway we're gonna get them I'm counting on that nose of yours woof woof <laughs> <sighs> okay well all right if we don't get to the fight in the next if we don't get to the fight I I'm going to end it this is the last chapter I'm doing right here so just be prepared I didn't want to end it here but um, I'm I'm getting a starting to get a little bit of a headache so I mean I would take a break and come back eat something and then come back because I'm really hungry but we'll see we'll see what happens this might be the last chapter guys so where's the thief is this dog pointing <laughs> like over there just wait I'm gonna blow your skull wide open he got the he got the shoddy he's like after I went to all that trouble to pay him a visit that old bastard Dakota wasn't even home well it can't be helped at least I got this book about hot springs. Pensions are real popular with the college chicks for some reason. <laughs> Inviting babes deep into the mountains like this. What's that perverted old fart up to? <laughs> He's like, there she is, just beyond all that myth. Oh, come on. Nobody wants to see this. <laughs> so he jumps into the hot spring and it's all monkeys. Or, 
it seems like it's monkeys anyways. So he's like, we're all the hot college babes. That old bastard, Nakota's a goddamn liar. <laughs> he's like, what the hell? Got a problem with your human master? And they all, st they all start to attack him. He's like, wanna go, you little shit? I was like, why are there so many? <laughs> He's like, what happened? They're all beaten up. Yeah, he knocked all them dudes. <laughs> Who the hell could have done this? He called Aoki-san too. He got a hold of me too. He's like, something about seeing a kappa. He told me he was attacked by a gang of monkeys. <laughs> I heard that he hurled a pickup truck 10 meters all by himself. I don't know which sounds more unbelievable. He may be over-exaggerated just a bit. Well, I think they're all just big fat lies. <laughs> Looks like I'm the one who got in touch got in touch with most recently. Did he say where he was now? In the forest of Aokika, Kahara, trying to catch giant stag be beetles from some get-rich-quick scam. That's just as absurd as all the rest. Next time, he'll probably tell us he caught a uh, Suchinoko or something like that. But if he's been calling us up so frequently, then doesn't this mean that he's feeling unexpectedly lonely? He enjoys it when things are lively. Traveling alone doesn't suit him. He'll be back soon and crying. I've been so lonely. It's a lot more peaceful without him. He's like, so Ippo is like, don't you guys miss him at all? And they're like, of course not. He's like, well, I miss him a little bit. Without Takamura son, the gym feels like it's lacking something. He's like, you slacking off, kid? He's like, oh no. Takamura's absence is affecting your training for this next match, isn't it? Just concentrate on yourself. He's like, no, I'm fine. Then prove it to me. So they go into the ring. He's like, I see, you've got it now. He's like, keep going, kid. Yes, sir. Well, now, if it isn't Takamura-san, lost in the forest still, catch a stag beetle for me too? He's talking to Kimura on the phone. He's like, nah, I'm in Nagoya now. I came here to eat some Tenmusu. He's like, you guys must be really lonely with me gone. He's like, I mean, you guys can't do anything without me. We're fine. Just fine. Ippo's really focused on his match, too. There's nothing to worry about. He's like, mm. Excuse me. Uh, there's a customer. No time to chit-chat. I have to hang up now. <laughs> Dr. Boy's like, you don't have time? You asshole. Don't be so full of yourself. Ooh, hold on. Let me drink some water, guys, because my throat is getting really dry. feel really weird <clears throat> okay so what are you doing not paying attention dangerous shut up am I seeing things but why would the world champ be loitering around here get back to work shut up <laughs> it's like what is it my hands are full right now it's Aoki talking I'm in Osaka <laughs> So he calls a, a hokey. He's like, I'm in Osaka now. I came here to eat some takoyaka. Takoyaka. Ta takoyaki. Well, that and also I've been gone for over a week now. I'm sure everyone, of the, everyone at the gym is pretty worried. We're busy with Ippo's match and Itagaki's Rookie King finals, so we haven't thought about you very much lately. <laughs> is my chasu ramen done yet? Hey, where's my girl? Please wait for just one minute. He's like, I'm busy. I gotta go. So he hangs up on him to Takamura. <laughs> smashes another phone. You're a busy asshole. Don't be so selfish. After I went to the trouble of getting them souvenirs at Osaka's cheap sweet sh shops, well, they won't be getting any now, so I'll eat them all myself. Hey, Granny, where's the pickle squid that used to be here? We've had those here ever since I first got married, but... Today I said they were a delicacy, and this guy, you actually 
sold them? All of them? Isn't this Sendo? This Sendo, right? A great big man came and bought them. He'll be sick to his stomach later. You think he's really real funny, don't you? You ripped him off, Granny. I'll sell whatever can be sold. I'm a Naniwa merchant. After all, geez. Well, if he bought him, he must be an idiot. Stop mouthing off and go run instead. No telling when you get your chance. I know that. I ain't gonna quilt till I reach the top. Hello, Makarochi residents. Are you free? You're not busy. Is this Takamura-san? I'm in Fukuoka now. I came here to eat some ramen. But I'm sure you'll say that you're busy and you've got to hang up now. Say, did you get Hakata ramen? I bet it was delicious. Hmm? You want to hear it? The story of my great journey? And Ippo is like, please tell me. Have you been to many different places? Like, nah. Do you really want to hear it? You really want to hear about my great journey that much? He's like, guess I have no choice then. Where should I start? And it was like, right from the beginning, please. Well, first of all, I... He's like, ha ha, he started to laugh. He's like, what is... So it was like, what is it? What's wrong? It's no use. Taka, did he hang up? On Ippo? Is that something stinks here? Yeah, it does. That like, don't take a shit in the bushes behind my stand. Hold on, did he just... <laughs> I think Takamura wanted to take a dump. The, that's why he had to leave the phone. He's like, he's like, shut the fuck up, man. Don't go saying it so damn loud. He's like, what the hell? Who's going to clean all this up? He's like, hell if I don't. <laughs> He's like, and that was three days ago. Has he contacted anyone else since then? Given the way he hung up, I'm really worried. Uh, Mori, Nagano, Yamanashi, Nagoya, Ahsoka, and then he dropped off of the radar after he went to Kyushu. Dropped off the radar? Don't say it like that. Right now, we don't even know if he's alive or not. No need to worry. He's just putting on a big show because he's upset at how we treated him. A show? Look like he's traveling south. That guy, he's like a reverse typhoon. You're taking this too lightly. It's fine. He'll be coming back soon. He's like, coming back soon? If he went to Kyushu, there's no place left for him to go. He'll have to turn around after that. He's like, well, I hope you're right. What's wrong? Well, it's nothing. I just thought I saw someone that I knew. This man is going through the whole storyline of Ippo right now. Like everywhere that we've come to know, it, this is weird. But he's not someone who would be loitering around a place like this. I must have mistaken a tourist face for his. He's like Goya Shampoo. <laughs> Since I am the shampoo of two weight classes. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay, guys. So I think I'm going to end it, end the read through right here. We're like 40 minutes in to this one. So make sure you go to YouTube and check out the review. Once it's come out, this goes with my Patreon guys. Um, uh, yeah. So I'm going to go do the review. I don't know how many chapters I did. As I said, I'm probably going to do, take a little break before I do the review. Of course, because I'm really hungry. So I'll see you guys then. All right, let's do this. Um, Welcome back. <clears throat> I think I've been bothering my throat, as you can see from the reading and stuff. Um, yes, these chapters that we just did, I think we did around eight. I'm not sure. Somewhere around there. I think we did um, 571 to 578, I think. So it's something like maybe seven chapters. I don't know. All I know is they're setting up for something big with Ippo really really coming to the conclusion that he needs to calm down and fight a little bit more you know what i'm saying <clears throat> use a little bit more technique smarts during his matches and just do an all out 
you know iron man challenge every time you know what i'm saying like this is one of the things that i talked about when i was reacting to the anime is, is just like every match that he goes into is like the same thing you know what i'm saying he takes a beating and then ends up winning in the hand it was hype but at the same time you know at some point he needs to be a better boxer he needs to become somewhat like a date power mixed with power mixed with speed smart the dodging you know what i'm saying all the technicalities of boxing he needs to become a better fighter he needs to become more of a takamura more than anything have different facets to his game you know so i'm really glad that he came to that conclusion by himself so um the whole thing about takamura just traveling you know south or whatever leaving because of brocco man <laughs> that's very entertaining uh, i like that i wish i could have done more chapters guys for this read through i really did but my throat really started to to hurt me even when i stopped you see that if you see at the end of the video i even when i went back to look at it just now i saw that i you know i was wondering if it kind of filtered out where i stopped before but i realized that i was even holding my throat a little bit during the recording um, just to get through the, the that last chapter too. Um, so one thing I don't want to do is strain myself because, as I you know have I've told you guys before, my talking is what I do for a living. So it's like <laughs> for me to be a, to be doing this. Like sometimes my my throat is really tired. So um, you know just to come on here and be able to talk normally. You know what I'm saying? And then to have to go back and do certain things is like, it's, it's tough sometimes, but you know, I'm doing this for my benefit and also, you know, for you guys, because you love my, my read throughs for all you guys who have been supporting, man, I really do appreciate it. Um, also, um, when it comes on to the story, why the story is progressing really well. I like where they're going with the story. You know, you're not left too long in between chapters to get to the, you know, the next fight. But also the story aspect of him kind of, Takamura kind of visiting all the places on, on certain people. We got to see Sendo. We got to see that one island looking place that they went to with the, the dude that, you know, he was a chef or whatever, I think. Um, recognize him. Um, he went to see um, Naniko-chan, I think. Um he went yeah so we got to see a lot of characters that you don't get to see often you know so that was pretty cool um but the main thing i want to talk about is Ippo's training Ippo's training hopefully i want him i'm going to tell you guys that i want Ippo to destroy this guy I did you you know why it's not that i don't feel for the guy or you know him having all the confidence in the world and this is the first time Ippo is the odds are with him to win you get what i'm saying as in, in on for dear standard for us we we always want Ippo to win right um but i i think this match is going to kind of propel him to a different um standard that we've held Ippo to i think this fight is going to be something where you think is going to last long and Ippo destroys this dude in one round. I think, I, I really do believe that. If not one round, I'm gonna give it max two rounds for him to figure out what the guy is doing and, you know, and to catch him off guard with, with, with the Dempsey. I think, I don't know, I don't know, but I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping that he destroys this guy, man. man. That's just how I feel now. So, I'm definitely looking forward to hit man to to the upcoming chapters. This fight, I'm definitely looking forward to it because I know it's going to be hype. You know, um, Ippo is a beast uh, because yeah, I rem I, I mean, I seeing it, I remember that freaking Kamagawa was doing that shit back in his backstory, back when we when when I reacted to it. Uh, man, that dude is crazy. That's what I call him, the Iron Fist, right? So that's crazy but anyways man thank you guys for tuning in as always man um i'm sorry i couldn't do more chapters this time around but i tried to do as many as as much as i can next time i'll make sure that i'm in well i don't think i 
like drank enough water while I was sitting here too. Kind of forgot to do that also, but you know, it is what it is. This time around, there wasn't much hype, but it was good build up. So, um, so it was good nonetheless. I'm trying to do another one of these before the weekend, before the week is over. Um, this week, I'm not going to be too busy, but uh, I will be, I'm probably going to have to be doing stuff in the morning before I, before I leave um, my house, you know, because I'm going to have to be going in later, coming home later. So um, this week, but it's not going to be like every day. So um, we'll see how we see how things go for this week. Um, sorry, you guys had to wait two weeks for this, by the way. Um, but also, man, thank you guys so much for for sticking with me, sticking with me, <laughs> sticking. I'm trying to, I, I, I'm trying to get going, man. I'm trying to get going. Um, hopefully, one day, all I have to do is YouTube and nothing else. You know what I mean? So, um, I'm working towards that. I'm definitely working towards that. So look out for that announcement one day because it's it's definitely coming. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I will see you guys later. Um, remember to like the video. Subscribe if you're new. There's more Ippo to come. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of these chapters. I don't remember how much I did. So don't ask. <laughs> Count it yourself if you have to. But anyways, man. Thank you guys so much. Um, this wasn't. There, there, there wasn't any super hype moment for this one. But anyways, man. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.